Um, oh, I wish there was something better in here than coffee, people. Oh, I wish deep down inside, but just good old fashioned cup of joe. Um, so there is this TikTok thing going around with brie cheese, a baked brie. Um, seen it on a bunch of different pages, so I'm going to try it and kind of do my own version in the oven with a skillet, fresh berries, a wheel of brie. Gotta have something to dip in there, so we're going to just toast up some bread on Christini's olive oil, a little bit of walnuts, and I have some fig preserves. So... This is my concept of a good appetizer. You can fully prepare the whole entire thing, then go to the party and pop it in the oven. Or you can just have a lonely night at home with a bottle of wine and a tray of baked brie and crostinis. Nonstick spray inside my cast iron. We're gonna put the brie cheese dead center. I like to shave off just a little bit of the topping. Um, I don't go crazy. I don't cut a hole because I don't think you need to, but I think that just shaving off a little bit of the topping makes a big difference. So shave off a little bit. And now we put our preserve on top. Spread it out. Use a spatula, cover the whole entire top of the brie. And try and keep your brie in the middle, not like me, and pushing it around. All right. Brie, spread your preserves. You can use raspberry, you can use strawberry, whatever. I always have berries. I pretty much buy a big, like the club size container every week because we do overnight oats, I do yogurt. So I had strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries washed in the container. I just quartered the strawberries and I'm gonna put some on top and some around. Now, with the essence of this cooking and starts to melt out, the berries and the sugar are gonna cook out and it's gonna kind of become like a jam syrupy, so it's a little extra. And I had some fresh walnuts, they're just toasted. I'm gonna go around with that all over. I have my oven set at 375. Popping this on a sheet pan, middle shelf. Let's go with 30 minutes. I'm gonna turn it in 15 though. Set your timer 15, turn it, and then another 15. Now, as far as what you want to dip your brie with, um, I'm gonna make crostinis out of French bread. I always buy French bread, cut it into pieces around this bake, and I throw it in the freezer in a Ziploc baggie. So whenever we need sandwiches, we need crostinis, you just pull it out, we always have bread. Um, I should've used a serrated knife. I use my chef knife, and I'm struggling here. Um, also, another thing I think you could use, you can use a, the non breads. I love them. I put them in the toaster oven all the time. A little bit of olive oil on each crostini. And then I toss them upside down, flip them back over so both sides get a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna put this in the oven that the brie is in on top. This takes around six minutes. Keep an eye on these so they do not burn. If you want, you can do them in your toaster oven as well. And then just put them aside until our cheese comes out. Oh, coming out of the oven. Holy shit, do you see this? This is gonna be amazing, hold on. Look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna take a picture so you can see it. But you wanna get your bread. Look at that nice golden bread. I, I don't even, do you just wanna dip? Do we wanna use a spoon? I think we're just gonna dip. Oh my God. And not burn the shit out of our mouth. This smells. Ridiculous, the berries cooked down, the nuts are toasted, the cheese is melted. Oh my God, can someone have a party just so I can make it and bring it? This is so good. I mean, seriously, look at it from this angle. Do you see the cheese? Do you see this? And the berries, everything, everything. This is perfection. This is absolute perfection.